welcome back to uh, In The Red Corner. I just thought I'd do a quick video uh, when I've got a chance. Um, just give me my thoughts on what's, uh, on what's happening. Um, first of all, last game um, went to was the home game uh, against Millwall. Uh, lost 1-0. Um, they scored in the last couple of minutes. Um, disappointing again, disappointing performance conceded um with a set play a corner our war before that game all for one giving shop um chance because i hate changing managers i just want to go through a season where we're not changing managers but if he's not doing his job um you know it, it it's no reason to keep him, um, you know, personally. Uh, I think if they're not doing the job, you don't just keep him for sake on it. Um, and it brought me um, with support that I did have for him um, with that substitute that he put on. Um, he took Palmer off, put Sibic on and um, shoved Moon in midfield. Which just totally baffled me. Um, just didn't get it. We've got a player there, a young player uh, in Moon, which I think is going to be a really good player. Uh, I do like him, but uh, I think it's unfair on him and doing him more harm than good to keep relying on him by keep starting him uh, in a struggling team at minute, um, especially uh, when you shove him um, out of position in midfield. Um, so yeah, I do feel sorry for him because, like I said, I think he's going to be a good player, and I like him. Um, we've got Gomez on the bench, um, young lad from Man City. We don't seem to be using him. Um, surely he's not come from Man City just to uh, warm our bench up. So again, I don't get that. It's I don't know, it's a bit of a mess at the minute. Uh, I did expect, if I'm totally honest, uh, I did expect Shop going more or less after the game. Um, I expected uh, an announcement on Radio Sheffield or Summit uh, saying, you know, that club's going to really release a statement, but that never happens. Um, interesting comments from Callum Britton after the game. Um, that was... That was interesting. Um, I don't know how that's good, good on uh, with manager and club. Um, but he talks about what we've just been uh, seeing and witnessing, really. Um, so he's not really said no how to turn and note what's, well, true and what, what we can't see. Um, now it's... Um, it's a bit of a mess at the minute. Just very disappointed with performance. We don't look like scoring. I thought his midfield looked weak. Um, it was the next home games against Sheffield United, and we, we, we need to step up um, a couple, in a couple of gears now uh, because they'll tear our midfield apart at the minute where we're playing. So yeah, we don't we do need to uh, step up. Um, and look, it's just it's just hard put into words. Um, coaches has gone. Um, goalkeeping coach. Um, who else has gone? Oh yeah, physio. Um, who's gone that Sedgwick? Um, don't know what's happening there. Um, as of yet, no news of their replacements. Um, yesterday they announced it that the west stand's going to be closed due to health and safety reasons. That's not gone down too well. Bad timing for that one. Um, I'm surprised it's not been shut before anyway because it's still got wooden seats in the top. Uh, I don't know. How, I don't know how we get away with that one. Um, but now it's it's not good. Um, we'll see how we up after international break uh, for his next games Reading and Middlesbrough um, I believe then Sheffield United at home um, <laughs> it's three 
three tough games um, and they're obviously going to stick by a shop um, so yeah it's it's interesting at the minute shall we say at Barnsley interesting frustrating and a bit disheartening um, especially after last season um, I know we probably um, have achieved last season and that's raised as expectations but that's how it should be um, I think recruitment's not been brilliant this season and yeah to uh, um, stand up for shop a little bit uh, he did say um, regarding lack of experience his team is not being given it um, but then again you know that, that's the same old story for us that's how many times has that happened um, I don't know I don't know what else to say really it's not good um, I just thought I'd give me thoughts on it we'll see how it goes um, I think next three games has got to be um, be all and end all for shop um, if we don't get all out of them games or if we do get absolutely battered uh, in one of them I think that might be ending it um, now it's it, it, it's it's just a bit sad at the minute um, but we'll see how it goes um, if you've got any thoughts in comments please let me know um, like I said I just thought I'd do this video because while I've got a chance I'd just like to put my thoughts out there um, I know my um, channel don't, go, don't get many views which is fine but anybody who does come across this please share it I think it's always good to have a good um, opinion on um, a different channel as well um, at minute the channel that I, I normally work on at Tykes TV um, that's going through um, a bit of a change I believe um, then you've got the Red All Over which is um, an excellent channel as well so I'm never going to ever compete with them two channels but like I say it's always good to have a different uh, opinion out there um, and I just like doing the videos and like I say if you do come across it please comment and share it if you can and you know I'll do more um, but there we go so in the meantime let's see what happens uh, with Reds in the next couple of games after international break um, improvement needed and on that note catch you later take care you reds